Hello, my name is Daroni. Welcome to my YouTube series on digital illustration basics with Figma. So this is part two, and today I will be showing us how to illustrate a tree, just a basic illustration of a tree using um, two shapes, the ellipse and the polygon shape. Yeah, so let's get started. First of all, let us make a circle. So you could tap four on your keyboard and then option shift drag to actually make a circle so you could just give it some gray colors for now yeah and then we could now create our our what's, what's it called the, the tree stem or the, tr the trunk yeah the trunk of the tree so i'll go to the shape tool and select a polygon to, to make it triangle so if we just drag the triangle we just fill it with a dark gray color all right and then we would we we'll tap enter or return if you're using a macbook on your keyboard and then we would make some couple of adjustments by actually manipulating the the node or the vector network i think figma calls it vector network so we we'll just manipulate the node by dragging it in the direction that suits you yep and then we we'll click done when we are done with the shape of one and then we we'll like send like kind of align the triangle to the center of this circle and then we we'll have to now create some um, different stem so you could just duplicate this particular triangle that i've created and use and tap key on your keyboard to actually scale it down and then rotate it so when you come to the edge of of these boxes that is around the shape you can use that to rotate so i could just like you know take the stem and then position it to a particular um point on the on the tree trunk yes so then we could also duplicate again so you know, it, you know it's pretty much like a tree is an organic an organic um object so it doesn't have to be like you can just like play around with it and just find a way to just like you know position it in a way that suits you. So you just create one more stem and reduce it a little bit and then attach. You know, we are going to attach it to this other particular stem here. Yes. All right. So now let's create like more circles and then change the position. Okay. Let's just duplicate the circle and then just scale it and then position it here. So now let's try to position this particular circle on top of the other stems we've created. Okay. And then we just duplicate, duplicate that. And then reduce the size. Just to make it much, much, um, you know, organic. It, it doesn't have to be realistic, like, like I said in the previous video, it's just an illustration. The reason why it, the, the, the purpose of this particular, um, video or this particular youtube series first understand how to use basic shapes to actually make illustration so we could use it on our designs or, or on our products yeah so so that's just pretty, pretty much pretty much it so yeah let us duplicate one more and so before we duplicate let us add some shadows so let's add shadow to this big circle we have here that's the ellipse ellipse one it's actually good a good habit to actually name your your what's it called your vector your, your design design elements so this particular element that have been highlighted as i actually go through this particular uh, layer so it's actually a very good habit to actually name them but for now let's just add effects so when you click on effects you see drop shadow and then you can select the kind of effect you want to add so in this case you are you want to add the inner shadow and then we could just make some couple of adjustments. So the shadow should should call should be at the bottom of the circle, right? As usual. <laughs> yeah, because light comes from the top. Yeah. So usually most light source actually from the top. So we could yeah, I think this works. And then we could now hold option command C. Option command C. To actually copy the property and then we can paste it 
to other parts, uh, to other parts of um, the the bush as in other circles. Yes. So, so now we can now duplicate this, and then we can now actually have more. We have a more um, we have more branches. So, so what I would like to do is I could just rotate this so it kind of aligns. You know, probably I'll just have to like adjust the shadow of this particular one, and also the the position so it aligns with. Yeah, so it aligns with this um with this other shadow, so it's kind of like be a part of that other branch. Yeah. So I think that's pretty much it. Now we could just add some fill. So let me just um add some fill to to these colors. Let me just type in green and then make some couple of adjustments and then select select the tree. That's the the stem and the branches i'm going to merge it and then give it green and then probably just change the shade to something darker all right cool so so let us probably add some grasses underneath this um let's just say okay we type in let's just use our pen to use a triangle so since we are trying to use basic shapes right let us use a triangle so i just go to the polygon shape and I select a triangle, I tap enter. So this particular tool is called um, the bend tool. So the bend tool helps you to like bend um, the parts yeah, of these shapes. So you can use it to actually just manipulate the shape to actually form some kind of you know, um, distorted shape from a basic shape actually. Yeah, so I'll be making like more videos on how to actually like use this tool so that we get pretty much familiar with with it okay so i'm just trying to like make a single grass and then i'll duplicate and then make different kind of like a variation so if i should just duplicate this and then just tap command d or control d if you're using a if you're using a what's it called um if you're using a macbook as if you're using a windows pc you just tap in command control c and then you could just like change the shapes or the height of this grass because like it's not always equal so just pretty much just have fun with it actually so the more the more you actually do the more you kind of like understand how, how it works okay i think one of our okay let me just so select select the the grasses i don't know when i selected everything i think it's actually inside one of those shapes is inside. So I have to like old command to actually select only. Okay. Okay. So so when I select, I'm trying to select the grass only, but it's also selecting the tree. So I just have to hold shift to deselect. So I just have to hold um command to deselect the tree, which is this union here. And then I can outgroup this. And then I can position this here. Yes, and I'll scale. So I could just give this one some other green color, but probably much lighter. Yes. So that that's pretty much it. Yeah. So basically we, we in this particular particular video we learn how to use the um circle and the triangle, which is the ellipse and the polygon to in Figma to actually make a an illustration of a tree. Yeah. So please try to like subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be making more of this video. That I'm still going to make more complex, um, more more complex tutorial on how to actually illustrate with Figma and do some vector, really very complex vector illustrations. But I really want to also actually understand the basics. So so by the time I start making those more complex course, a lot of beginners I really want to be illustrators can actually follow up. Yes, uh, I remain um, Dario Ne. Thank you very much. For actually watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe and also you can follow design is fun on twitter that's design is fun underscore school underscore ch where i actually drop basics of how to actually use most of these tools and generally talk about and um, product design and digital design in general yes thank you very much and stay blessed